Hello, my name is Sally Alminji, son of my mother and father, future father of my sister's future nephews and nieces, and icon of traders. And welcome to Rip My Trades. So, I don't know if it's um, a bit obvious, but I've been watching a bit of Game of Thrones, but nonetheless, rate my trades, here we are. Now, I've made the decision, so reviewing all the episodes that we've had and asking people questions, etc, etc, rate my trades is now just going to be purely on the trades. So we're not going to be looking at um, past events and future events, so we're just going to look at the trades, and we're also going to place the trades on a live account to show you exactly what the sort of money that you can be making if you follow the trades I tell you to place. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward as well. So yeah, let's get started then. So here, starting off, we've got EUR and OK. Now EUR and OK, if you remember how this looked last week, it's going to come up on the screen now. So this one, we're looking to buy it. I don't know why my buy parameters aren't in place. These were put in from last week. Okay, yeah, so these were put in last week. And with this, we're going to buy it. Now, here, I've jotted down the take profit and stop loss that we're going to put for EUR and OK. So if we just type in EUR and OK here, and come here, we shall find EUR and OK. Now, for this one, we're going to be buying it because obviously it's a buy from top of the Ishimiki cloud and support line. So press buy here, then enter our parameters, so our stop loss and take profit. And there we go, we've entered our first trade. Okay, moving on. So the next trade that we're going to place is going to be NZD USD. So now if we come over here, we'll see that um, from before, uh, from how this chart looks before, if you haven't seen that, then you can check it out on our trading view page, but we are selling it. That is in a, it's currently in a regression trend and it's got a nice take profit of around 0.645, I believe. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and place the trade. So Okay. So now that's been done, the third trade that we will be placing will be GBP CHF. Now from before, if you can remember, I said that I was going to be staying away from the GBP, um, all GBP pairs. However, because of recent Brexit news and because there hasn't been any, well, much, and nothing's really going on right now. So things are still a bit skeptical, but right now it's all in the wind. We're just waiting to see what happens. Uh, might as well make some money whilst we wait. So, I'm going to place the trade. Um, I did spot this from before, but obviously it's um, it's Tuesday now. We're recording Break My Trades, so that's why we're coming to you with this now. And have a nice take profit here of around 1.37, and a stop loss of around 1.32. So just going to place that in now. Okay, so now, um, now that we've placed these, these trades, if we come over to here,
So now, okay, so now that we've placed these three trades for the week, what we're also going to do is we're going to go through a list of currency pairs that I believe you should watch for this week because they're going to be quite interesting. Maybe a bit of a money maker. But let's go, let's, let's go through it. Okay, so so far we've looked at GBPCHF, we've looked at NZBUSD, and we've also looked at EURNOK. Now, what else am I thinking? Okay, so for the rest of this week, I believe... Here, if we come here onto natural gas, if you remember, I have been speaking about natural gas for quite some time. And I believe this is a perfect time to actually place this trade. And the reason that I haven't placed, and the reason that I haven't placed this trade on the trading account is because of the available balance on the account. Because as you can see, so this account was actually starting with 170 pounds. And yeah, just stay tuned and see how much that grows in such a short time period. I, I don't know how it's going to be because obviously I am a trader, but I can't see the future. I just know that I'm pretty good at guessing, educational guess. That's because that's what we do at the end of the day. So natural gas, so I'll tell you to sell that right now. Very good money maker. E-U-R-A-U-D. Okay, so now with this trade, this is a trade that we were looking at selling quite some time ago. I can't remember if you can remember. However, at this point now, it's looking like it may have turned into a buy. Why do I think this? Okay, so on the week chart, it's on top of the Ichimiki flag. Come over to the day chart. It's also on top of the Ichimiki flag. Come over to the four hour chart. Also, on top of the Ichimiku flag. On the two hour chart, also on top of the Ichimiku flag, and also on the hour chart, on top of the Ichimiku flag, on the 30 minute chart, in the middle of the Ichimiku flag, so that doesn't count for anything, on the five minute chart, below the Ichimiku flag, which means five out of seven of the indications with Ichimiki Cloud crossover is indicating that this is now a buy. So of course, what would that mean? That would mean that we'll be looking to buy it. But for now, just give it a little watch. And when we see that on the five minute chart and on the 30 minute chart, etc., etc., when it starts to cross the top on these charts, that's when we know that we are in big business to, to buy it. But yeah, moving on. So, EURUSD. So now this one, as you can remember, I, I don't know if you've seen, like, I think it was episode two where we first called out this trade, but that, that's the screenshot of how this chart looks at that time is gonna come up on the screen now. And from that, you'll be able to see that it's going pretty perfectly. However, why is it currently on the watch list? On the week chart, as we can see, it's below the Ishimiku cloud. On the day chart now, also below the Ishimiku cloud. On the four hour chart, it is within almost above the Ishimiku cloud. So that is on the contrary. On the two hour chart now, also within slightly moving towards the top of the Ishimiku cloud. So that's another. So now we're two on two. On the hour chart, on top of the Ishimiki cloud, on the 30 minute chart, on top of the Ishimiki cloud, and last but not least, on the five minute chart, we are on top of the Ichimiki cloud. So this means five are staying on top and two are staying below. So obviously with the, the grand scheme of things, the bigger picture is showing that this is most likely going to be a sell. So we're not going to touch it for now until the smaller time periods are moving in our favour. Moving on, CAD CHF. Sorry, I was, I was doing some analysis on this earlier, but moving on to the week chart now, what can we see from this one? So, 
we can see that this was about to leave the triangle trend that we had in place and then now it seems as if it's coming to some resistance around our top support line what does that mean for now we're just gonna wait because if you move into the 30 minute chart i'm not going to go into all the time time frame charts because you know you can do that yourself if you do want to learn the strategy that i'm following in order to place my trades you can also sign up to the icon traders trading course the link will be below but as we can see here on the 30 minute chart the candle sticks have just crossed over to the top of the ishimiki cloud so this isn't looking good for something that we want to sell so at this point now my advice would be just watch it until it crosses down to the downside of this support line and that support line becomes a line of resistance and the ichimiki cloud as well when it happens feel happy to sell usd mxn So what we see with this one? So this one is actually going quite well. It has met the resistance that we predicted at the bottom of this channel. And if we dive into the 30 minute chart now, we can see that it seems as if the candlesticks are playing with a support line, a line of support around the level of 19.06. So at this point now, once again, just waiting for it to get the momentum to break to the upside of the Ichimuku cloud and once it has done that we are going to be buying and soaring lastly USD CAD now with this one once again it seems as if we have come across some resistance in our journey to the skies so moving into the 30 minute chart to get the smaller picture we can see that once again the candlesticks have broken to the downside of the Ishimuki cloud which is not good for a buy so right now just watch it put this on your watch list in the morning when you wake up you know check it before you go to bed check it whilst you brush your teeth check it and as soon as you see it come above that Ishimuki cloud that's when you know that it's time but those are all the trades that we're watching for now and i have no idea why you're still watching please tune in so with these three trades that we've currently just opened currently on a profit loss of minus 0.48 pence join us next week to see how that changes am i going to make money or am i going to lose money we'll see but what are you still doing here watching this video go do something great with your life